And then if it wasn't one of them T-Pain pop songs, it was actually a Kanye West conscious <laughs> song. And I don't know, one minute, it's like you hear him talking about Jesus. Next minute, he's telling the story about how he broke his jaw, a car accident. You know what I'm saying? That's a minute. Yeah. I mean, he is a genius. He pulled Mace. Yeah, he Yeah, he pulled Mace in for Jesus Walks, actually, at the, I won't even call it the, the, the comeback. So you call it true fame because you're going back and doing a lot of different things. So how do you feel about what what he said about the 400 years? What is your take on that? You know, I, you might you might think you know somebody, or mm-hmm. that you know something about somebody, or mm-hmm. you might think that somebody some type of way, but only God can judge. Absolutely. Okay. That that Kanye West is really really talking that. I don't know. I, don't I think know. I think he's a little ill, but at the same time, but no, I, I I think looking deeper into what. He, what he was actually saying was, you know, like you had a choice to fight or whatever, whatever options may be. But if everyone would have took the option of death, I probably wouldn't be here right now. You know, some people had kids, so some people walked that walk. But as they was walking that walk, they were trying to figure out a plan. Sometimes you can't figure out a plan. They, what they say, Rome was built in the day, right. it's or something nice. like that. But eventually. Right. You know, we got what we call freedom right now. But people had, you know, people had to walk the walk. Mm-hmm. It just didn't happen overnight. We're still doing it to a certain degree. Mm-hmm. To a certain degree, we're still doing it and still making strides at this point. Okay, that'd be the same but the now. problem is, like you said, people had to walk the walk. And people had to put in time over 400 years, well over 400 years. And, go ahead, go ahead. I don't care. Oh, yeah. And, and I guess. Kanye doesn't realize everything that he loves. Mm-hmm. He couldn't have done if people didn't walk that walk, and he couldn't he couldn't speak the way he do if somebody didn't walk that walk. And all of his obsessions, fashion, music, mm-hmm. Kim Kardashian, none of it right. would have been possible if somebody didn't walk that. I thought he couldn't even be with her back in those days. <laughs> but do you think he was actually talking about having a choice of? I'm gonna be a like it's like the old Negro spiritual said. I'm gonna be a slave or I'm gonna be buried in my grave. Was that the choice you think he's talking about? Or was he when he said a choice, was he talking about why do we have to keep revisiting that negative part of our history? Like every time, uh what's the movie they referenced? Uh was it Django? No, I want Django. It was the it was the other uh the other, the other black movie that really didn't do good, except in our, except I can't think of the name of it. I really think it was your second, your second, your second option because he said four hundred years. He didn't, he didn't say we still talking about it. We still, he said four hundred years. Though all those people, that's a choice. That's what he said. So you think he was talking about? They had a choice to be. A, in the slave will fight against the slave. Right. Because I, mean, I think he was talking about why do we have to keep referring to it? Why can't we start talking about Magic Johnson? Instead of talking about slavery this and slavery that, why can't we talk about Magic explaining to our young folks today, our black young folks today, how do you get these Starbucks in, the, in your community? How do you invest in this? And how do we, why is it the choice that we keep talking? A slave movie this, a slave movie that. We keep re- we know what that history was. Why do we have to keep saying well, in that depression side? One thing that he pointed out earlier though is the Jews know what happened. They are what well, they are like I mean they're well aware of it and they never forget it. With a lot of our history being somewhat washed up, a lot of different stories and stuff. I mean I I, I feel like there needs to be more balance. <laughs> But like at the same time, I wouldn't. I would be scared if I didn't hear anything of it because this next generation is a little ignorant. And that's right. all. You gotta remember, the Jews had ghettos too. They came out of the ghettos like just like we did. Okay. But they robbed. Now they now they like I used to work in the Jewish community. They they got their their chapel, what they call a synagogue. They got their school from kindergarten to twelfth grade. Right. And they go to service. Like they don't miss service and they celebrate their high holidays and all that stuff. They and they teach it so it'll never happen again. And so 
they don't they don't put in everybody else's face. And in this city, but they keep it together. In, we don't do in that. In Montgomery right. County, this the place he's talking about. I mean, it's crazy. It's a, it's like in Rockville, Maryland. But then the whole community of these Jewish, the businesses that are there, the school next to it, the synagogue in the school, and then they have another one down the street just for the older kids before they ship them off to military school. I mean, growing up in Montgomery County, I I would see this. I would see this on the regular, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like you can live here, you can live here where there's a couple people with Section Eight. But did you? Every kid growing up in my era, if you lived in a in a bad neighborhood, always had this one, this one like Jewish friend who like his mom always had had you come over the house, and then he always had like all the food in the fridge, and you just wonder why does this dude always have everything? Like I remember <laughs> thinking that as a kid, like you know what I'm saying? I remember yeah. thinking that as a kid, but. But it is, but it is the fact though, and a lot of it might be because maybe their parents know where they came from, so it probably stops them from what going to do. What they still do when I used to work at the Jewish school, I worked in a synagogue, and then I worked in a school, so I, I know a lot about what they do and how. Even like me, if, I, if they looked at me as being part of the community, they did a lot of things for me. Like um, when I got custody of him, I had a Jewish lawyer from that school, and he did a pro bono. Because I was in that circle. Okay. You know, a lot of our circle is a lot of hatred. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Chip stop, man, he can't rap, blah, blah, blah. You know, whatever. It's a lot of hatred. Mm -hmm. But in that circle, it's a lot, it's just a lot of love. Yeah. They look out for each other. But when they when they in the twelfth grade, they cannot graduate unless they go on it's a trip that they go to Israel. Mm -hmm. The twelfth grade. You have to go to Israel. And when you go to Israel, it's not like pretty. They gotta work out in fields, and they gotta do all this stuff. They gotta come back, and they come back knowing more about their history. And they never been to their motherland wow. before they leave, before they graduate twelfth grade. They have to go to their motherland wow. and learn about it, live there. I think they, I, I think they're in a small part of the military. They don't go fight, but they kind of like uh, put them in the little little military part. So they, they, they. They feel tight. Wow. Wow. So anyway, to answer your question, I don't think that's what Kanye was talking about. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, let's 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 do you. Well, we're gonna be talking about Kanye at least yeah. at least to the summer to the album yeah. drop because I know this album gonna sell. Mm -hmm. But Trump stuff. Yeah. You've been doing a lot of things here lately. Yeah, yeah, man. You know, mm. we'll, we'll just talk about that a little bit. Man, it, it's crazy right now because. Ever since I met y'all, man, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, man, things have just like things have changed so much. Like wow. the people around me, the place mm -hmm. around me, the things around me. Mm -hmm. I got some more good gigs coming up. I am happy to say that Emory Heights has allowed me back into their community for yeah. not one, but two more times to come out there. Okay. Not only not only for the hip hop, mm -hmm. but also, you know, we giving out bikes to the kids, okay. we mm -hmm. doing the haircuts for whoever. Um we will be out there on Father's Day, and I will also be out there for the Emory Heights Day celebration. So I'm, I'm, man, you know, I'm really glad to be out there. Shout out to Emory Heights, shout out to Coach Lou, shout out to Lonnie, and just you know, all all of them kids out there that's really aspiring to be something. Not today, trying to clean the community up. So I'm glad to be there with them while they do this. It definitely reminds me of where I'm from. And that's good stuff. um, I have, I have. Another show coming up in Lincoln Park, actually, on Father's Day, was I don't know if you're familiar with that. It's in Montgomery County. It's where, it's where I'm born and raised. And then I also have Freedom Plaza coming up, actually, is my next gig. Um, we got new music coming out. And I guess now's a good time to announce that the, the talk is out. We are planning on locking down and doing a track with Wincy. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, so is just, this late breaking news? An exclusive for DMV made? Yes, 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 hey. yes. That's, 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 okay. that's my man. That's my man. I saw y'all texting us. Uh -huh. The haters. Uh -huh. It ain't true. Trip style. Yeah. Um, yeah. I got another one. I got another one with somebody that I grew up with named Cacciarella. We got something coming on. It's a little bit of a crossover record. Some of y'all going to love it. Some of y'all going to hate it. It's, it's going to be what it's going to so be. So it's going to be. It's going to be giving take. That was kind of Kanye. You know that, right? That was a real. Some of y'all going to hate it. Some of, that was a Kanye. No, it's right there. Because I, I just can say, I can just say a lot of people in the DMV ain't going to be ready for it. That's all I'm going to say. It's going to be ahead of a lot of people's time. Good. And I'm gonna speak That's how it's highly. supposed to be. I don't speak. I don't speak on a lot of my projects, but I'm going to speak very highly of this project. 
has been put into the best hands, it's being cared for right now in the best cooking lab possible. Dang. Um, cook that cooked up is my man. Yeah. Trade day. And then that. we have, um, <laughs> and then I got another one coming out with my boy Drew. He, he be DJing and producing out Georgetown. Someone I'm very close with. Just something, just something we put, to, we put together as homeboys, but I think y'all would like that too. And we, we got much more coming for y'all. That ain't even it. Wow. That ain't even it, but that's all I'm going to tell y'all. Yeah. You got to keep us in the news. Let us know so we can definitely, you know, let everybody know. Keep them, you know, yeah, yeah, abreast of what's going on with trip stop. I mean, that's <laughs> I mean, it's a lot of, it's, a, it's just a lot of, a lot of things going on in my life. But it's a, inside of music, outside of music, mm -hmm. community outreach. We got it. We got it all coming. Well, I'm going to definitely be looking for that Henry Heights. Uh, summer, okay. summer day. Uh, time to win the party on style. That's my neck of the woods. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, hey, it's lit. It be lit. It be yeah. nice though, man. They all, they all do come out there. Cause when I came out there with party mode last time, we gave yeah. out those bikes. I didn't realize, right? I didn't realize how many people were up there until I yeah. stood on the stage. Cause you know how to feel. Oh yeah, they they yeah. yeah, but it yeah. was yeah. like it was like since it was scattered, <laughs> I didn't realize. Like when you standing above it, right. you're looking down on it, and then you're watching it. It, it didn't look so packed anymore. It just yeah. looked like a bunch of people on top of the hill. It only looked looked like packed and scattered when I was on the ground. But I was like, Geez, well, it's gonna be, kids. it's gonna be, it's gonna be more, it's gonna be more out there this year. Um, I guess since we dropping hey. dropping things, hey. word up top where the party don't stop is Team Familiar uh -huh. is gonna take the stage on the hill this year. Wow. Shout out Team Familiar. And yeah. Shout out Team Familiar. Them boys from Southeast Washington DC's junkyard bang on hey. Shout out stage out. out there this year. Shout and <laughs> I'm about to drop a bomb. Drop the bomb. Can I drop a bomb? Drop too? the bomb. <laughs> Yours truly uh -oh. is going to be getting back mm. to his roots of running the microphone mm. with the uptown sounds of the legendary pump blenders. Wow. So we're going to be wow. taking pump the blenders. stage yes. this year, but I'm going to be on my tutu and my uh -huh. MIC game. Uh -huh. So yeah. I'm going to put the spinners down. Mm. And uh, yeah, so. The hill's gonna be sharp this DJ. year. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we are gonna get it in this year. I'm, we'll see if, if I can slide some trip star music to, to Gerald and maybe we can like I can bring them on the stage like like they used to bring Snakey Dink on the stage and have a trip party with me and the pump lenders. Hey man, that's a big there. that's a big compliment right there. Hey, man. hey. That's a big compliment. So we got yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be um, hot that. this year, man. And I like I like what you're doing. I appreciate that. I seen you know, you know me. I keep it one thousand. I see a lot of controversy with a with a show coming up, and I want to salute you and your staff, pops, management, all rolled up in one for not taking that endo bite for paying to play on these performances in the DMV. That's got to be the most craziest thing I've ever heard of. And I said it, yes, I, I said it when the go-go bands were paying to play. I just don't understand the concept of behind that. So I salute you and your camp for saying, are you crazy? I'm not paying you to pay to play on your show. That's, that's the most foolishness. Uh, that's payola. On, on stages. I know they do it on radio, but that's just crazy to me, man. So I and definitely want to. And think about when Trip Star performs. I mean, I like to be in the background. You, you know, you, when y'all see me post, I don't post my son, my son doing all this. I stay back. Right. I'm not right. even in the pictures with him. You know what I'm saying? I fall back and I work behind the scenes, but I got to take care of him and look out for him. For sure. So, but when Trip Star, Trip Star comes to your community day, <laughs> Trip Star going to bring more than just getting on a microphone and shouting out stuff you already heard a thousand times before. True. We give away a girl and a boy break. Like now, Emory, we bring in a, a, a bus that has a barbershop built in it, and any and everybody who's there can get in line and get a free hair. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? So why do you want us to pay <laughs> you? Because yeah. we when we come there, your party gonna be lit. So right. this is your block party. We 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 like to bring. More than a, just a party, we bring all kinds. You don't, you don't know what's gonna happen when we come. That's what's up. Yeah. I already know. Now they know. Go for Winfrey style. Hey, <laughs> you get a haircut. You get a haircut. You get a haircut. You get a, haircut. You get a fade. Even when Pookie came up, he was like, "Give him a turkey." Yeah, 
<laughs> they ain't even messing with no more. Yeah, yeah, the funny thing is, when we first started this, people always skeptical, man. Especially <laughs> our people. Our people skeptical, man. So the bus pulls up. It looks good. The lights going. The guy went in the cut. So I'm like, y'all gonna go get the haircut? It's free. They got the kids sitting there. The kids need haircut. So I'm right. like, you nah, nah, we ain't gonna. I like, it's free. What's the right. problem? And one little boy went that bus. They show how this man cut. He had designs all in his head. Had to shake up tight. Man, I'm hey, And let me say this on the, on the business, man. Tip, I just want to shout that brother out. His name is Emmanuel. He used to have a shop called Afro Cuts. So if any of y'all familiar with this dude, that's a superhero outfit. Uh -huh. This is the PGDC community. Okay. Hit that man up. Because he has some little kids like. He had them little kids looking like coming out with like Boosie phase. Uh -huh. Seriously, man, Boosie and Gucci phase. NBA yes. player haircuts. So it wasn't just like he was doing the typical whole right. give every kid the box shape up mm -hmm. and call it presentable. I mean, he was really giving them like the that, that dream haircut. And he was fat. It's like yeah. cutting this out, get far right. sitting down here. <laughs> what do you want? Superman, get out of here. It's like real yeah. sad. And I mean, all the kids was leaving out with different types of lines and mohawks and lines with mohawks and just stars and horseshoes. <laughs> <laughs> I might have my joint grow. Let's get one this year. You know what I'm saying? Man, that's what's up, man. But yeah, I, I definitely, you know, Shantae said, yeah, the kind said, I definitely got to make sure that I tell this man in this camp personally that I was proud because I see too many of our folks taking that Yankee just to do something. I'm like, really, dude? Like, that's crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. Like, I, the dynamic duo for real. You, you know, know, I won't knock nobody's business. Mm -hmm. I won't I won't knock nobody's business. I won't knock nobody's hustle. Mm -hmm. but, but I feel like, one, one, I'm focused on investing in myself. Just right. like everyone is. I'm not I'm not even trying to say it like selfishly. Right. I'm focused on investing in myself. Mm -hmm. And we also invest in the community. And we're investing in it at the event, at the event, which gives everybody, everybody is well-rounded across the board being taken care of. So just to pay the extra. I'm not going to say nothing because I don't want, you know what I'm saying, I don't want to diss nobody and nothing like that. But yeah, I just feel like we invest in everybody out there. So it's a little different. And with me, it's like, uh, you know, I, I've been doing this for so long. I, and it took a long time to really they get paid on the program, you know. But I learned, you know, him being my son, I, you know, I want him to get this money early while he's in the game. But he has quality work and he puts out and he works hard. He probably rehearses everything that he's supposed to do, he does. So he's worth it. It ain't like you're going to pay him a whole lot anyway, you know what I'm saying? Because he's not a con, you know, he's not a case or whatever, but you can, you can get some. But the Trip Star brand is it's out there. You guys right. promote it like. Every time I'm on any part of social media, Trip Star is coming down my page from your videos to your flyers, you know, to different tweets and threads and so forth. You guys are doing it. And and that's why I always try to always include, you know, the dynamic duo as I call you guys, mm -hmm. anything that I do because I see it. And when you see it, you know, I give support and support is always giving back. You keep pushing that. Because a lot of people don't, you give support and then people like, all right, and walk off and they don't want to, you know, give that support back to you. But you guys have always reciprocated at all mm -hmm. times with anything. And I got to say thanks to everybody mm -hmm. because he has gotten a lot of support. We, we don't really, we haven't really ran into any hate. Right. I, mean, I mean, we ran into some things, but we had no stuff. You know, right. like I, I, I told him. But that's like old peers and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's like we, we, we keep it moving. But for for ninety nine percent of the time, anybody I mean, Anissa Hargrove, R and B singer right here out of DMV, was doing big things. Had him, had him, had him perform mm -hmm. at the um the death of Jazz. That was yeah. a big thing for him. Keep in mind, I want to mention that she made me the first black resident in Montgomery County, according to someone that works at um, Bethesda Blues and Jazz yeah. to perform in Bethesda Blues and Jazz. Mm -hmm. And I might be the only one from the best that lives in the best that lives in the best. Wow. According to somebody I know that works inside. Shout out to Ms. Hargo. Okay. Ms. Alyssa Hargo. Yes. And now, here we go. Oh, Alyssa, you know, what the project that's going on. How is that coming along? What do you have up and coming? Uh, with a group, it's always something. You know, we're trying to do uh, original music and, and get that music out there. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, but it's not, it's not always that easy, but they, they are doing it, you know, but that's, that's, that's my main thing. Do it. Do it, and it get done. To the ground, it's going to get that, bro. And, you know, when I told you I got a birthday coming up, 
Are you there, DJ? Are you uh, yeah, I'll be down. Uh, Lucky Strikes Friday nights, go go night, <laughs> every Friday night. Yours truly, they put me in the game already. Probably catch my man DJ Tay, that's my yeah, DJ Tate brother out there. You know, that's probably gonna be big. Okay. You know, I played another group called uh, Signature Live. Signature Live do a lot of a lot of a lot of gigs outside of. So we don't fight for the fast Eddie you gotcha. know all that. We like we got a three and a half hour trip out of Virginia that we take in the Saturday okay. to do some festivals and stuff like that. Um and I'm trying to work on um a solo project myself. Mm -hmm. There's a whole song I'm not gonna say who we buy. Okay. But I think it'll be the perfect little cut. But right now I'm putting together some guys off and singing that everybody knows. Mm -hmm. So we can um try to go in the studio and do this on so are you gonna come back for another excuse and drop it on DMV, mate? <laughs> That's what's up. I definitely appreciate it. Can you guys give me a social media um out so everybody can know what your channels are so they can get in contact with you? Uh, I want to get my YouTube channel for a second okay. because I ha I feel like I haven't given that out. Like okay. That. So go on YouTube. You gotta look me up under Green Team Online TV. That will lead you to all my videos and all of that stuff. YouTube.com slash Tripstar and L and on all other social media platforms, just hit me at I am Tripstar. Play my record last call on Spotify. Call for alcohol, okay. I'm go bouncy everything. Just everything. Before I go, before I go, I'm gonna give a shout out to my to my mom who passed because me and him did a radio interview with BDC and a couple a little bit before she passed, she said, why y'all didn't say my name? You ain't give me no shout out. Yeah, I thought it was corny. Mom, get out of here. And when she passed, I was like, yeah, no, why didn't we do that? Did yeah, right. shout out to grandma. So, wow. Shout out to my mom. Mom did it so. I definitely appreciate you guys coming on. And y'all definitely have to stay in the know and make sure y'all stay tuned to the DMV meeting each and every Wednesday from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Follow Tripstar. Go, go, bounce, even I tell y'all they're phenomenal all across social media. They're giving it to you guys. And you always can catch them with DMV, mate. I appreciate you guys coming on. Appreciate y'all for Yes. Always, always. Okay. So upcoming, um, we're going to introduce our next guest. Um, we're going to cut to a quick break. Um, Okay. Two. <laughs> um, oh, no, oh, let me say thank you. I gotta get on the Let me um, get on a break. Okay, guys, what's up? The chill sign. So, we're gonna go on a quick break, real quick. Um, I'm gonna take some pictures and everything, and then we'll be right back. This is live. It's live, baby. Yeah. Okay. Uh,
It ain't um, it ain't going. So we know how to go because it's like ten minutes. Back from commercial break. This is your girl Shantae the chill side, baby. We're gonna bring it out next guest. We got the Deuce 32. Trey Deuce this and Trey Deuce that. One team 32. Yeah, just walk in, make yourself at home and take off. Walk in. That's what the star do. They just walk in. I swear to goodness. How you doing, sir? Yeah, this AC pumping in this one out here. Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for coming on. We appreciate you. We're not supposed to be sitting you there. Can sit anywhere you want, you want, want to. Every angle going to catch you. Oh <laughs> you got to do right. it So, this Saturday, mm -hmm. my goodness, I think everybody and their mama put up a live feed of the Deuce 32 killing it at Fast Eddie. Oh, my goodness. Phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And to be expected, of course. You know, but you definitely did your thing. How has everything been with you? It's been a minute since we've had you. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've been doing great. I mean, you know, staying positive and, you know, staying out of the way of these creeps. That's hey. it, you know. <laughs> staying out of the way of these bed bugs. This dude got sense for everything. He got sense for everything. But uh, <laughs> let me ask you, man. Uh, yeah. You might be one of the first, first uh, artists. There right. you go. Make yourself comfortable. Show, show your swag because you got it. Um, one of the first artists that I've heard of or known in the DMV right. who's actually went legal with their brand, as right. they say. Um, not getting into the negative stuff because i you know, I listen to you. I, I roll with you, and right. that we 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 too grown for that right now. But on the business side, mm -hmm. has it changed your game, your delivery? Are you catching flack in the DMV? Like, is it, mm -hmm. was it a move that the DMV just mm -hmm. didn't understand? Um, nah, it wasn't, it wasn't a move that they didn't understand because, like, before I, I, I was set, I, I kind of put the pieces and the pieces in place. Like, I didn't just stop wearing Hirachis. Mm -hmm. To, to pick up some Steve Harvey suits. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So I wasn't, it wasn't like an overnight transition. Like there was like a two year transition that I started wearing ties, started wearing blazers and um, started uh, um, moving differently. You know, um, kind of like setting myself differently um, without tooting my own horn. You know, I'm big on that. I'm big on um, letting your 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 work and your body of work and 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 your five senses speak for themselves, you know. Versus, you know, some guys they toot their own horn. Right. What I do is I drive down the street and I open up the door, then I get in the passenger seat and I let you drive and I let you toot the horn for. Okay. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. You um, since you've done this, yeah, and um, you put out a. You had to be, this had to be a first. I'm going to stab it as a first. You put out a, a catalog set, five CDs, approximately 10 to 15 tracks per CD. Mm -hmm. 75. There you go. I already mm -hmm. knew we had a number. Mm -hmm. It was seven, it's 75. 75 tracks total. Greatest, greatest, 32 greatest hits. Um, so it went, I decided to. Um, well, I started off trying to do 32 greatest hits. Okay. Right? And it was me going through, I, to be honest, I literally went through maybe about five to 600 songs. It goes all the way back from $55 Motel back when I was 14. We <laughs> out, that's going in all the way to current. Um, from uh, Junkyard, um, Junkyard Days, uh, $55 Motel, Lady I Love You from the old uh, 930 Club. Mm -hmm. That's by Sequoias. The 930 Club used to be by Sequoias. It's a movie theater now. That used to be the old 930 Club. Now it's over where it is now. B Street. Right. Um, from went to Northeast, but you know, just went through my whole, my whole, uh, whole what, what's that word? Parenthala? The, 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 the something of? Something Jason was telling me. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
but um, but just just the whole catalog of and shows my growth. Um, I thought that would I thought that would be something good to put out. I was gonna put it out on my birthday, but I didn't want. I mean, believe it or not, um, I don't really. I'm not thirsty for the limelight. You know, I'm not. I'm not thirsty for. It. You know, I like to do things that make sense. Okay. So, like when I got the invite to come here, it makes sense. You know, I like. I, I, if you see, I'm not on every. I'm not on every flyer anymore. I'm only doing shows that make sense. All right. Oh. Um, and currently, right now, and I'm working on um, traders this and traders that. That's already out, but I'm doing a GoGo version that I went live with. That um, I'm in the studio now, mixing that down, getting um, getting a nice mix on that. I'm gonna throw that to the radio stations. Um, said that bite, and uh, so I'll have two versions of it. Okay. I'll have well, actually, it'll be four versions. It's gonna be a dirty version and a clean version for the GoGo. Uh, version and it's gonna be a clean version and a go-go version of the hip hop version. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. You um, you move, you move like way different than anybody I've ever had the privilege to know in go So I salute you on that. Thank you, sir. I also salute you because you let me just rob you of your of my <laughs> brand name. And if people always say it, so I'm gonna put it out here. I've already knew that 32 was yelling, put me in the game, coach, with his <laughs> on his mix day stage when I was party with him. But when he was saying it and the things I was going through, I was like, yo, that's a perfect slogan for me. So you know, I, I, I respect you for that, man, and I give you props and like I never took props. So I always say, My man 32 gave me gave me this and I rode with it. Appreciate it. And uh you got, you got, uh, you, it was a rumor. I ain't gonna say it was a rumor because you said it. You had a band coming out. What happened to the band? Is it, did it slow down? Is it still in the mix? No, I just wanted to, uh, I just wanted to. He looked um, at me like rumor. <laughs> <laughs> so I decided, I decided, I decided to reverse it. Okay. And again, I'm always thinking, like, I'm always thinking of ways to, um, do things that make sense, right? Mm -hmm. That's like, that's like, put me in the game, coach, you ready. You know, I'm, I'm like, right now, and I'm ready. So what I decided to do was, I decided to flip the screen around versus me putting the band out, right? Mm -hmm. And then putting music out. I decided to put the music out first, and then you can book the band. Okay. Because... You know, I mean, you know, 80% of my catalog is original. You know what I'm saying? Some of the covers that I do, I try to make a mind. Some some covers, I might use the hook. I might use my own verses. Um, some, I might do the, own, the, the original verses if the original verses fit what I stand for. I'm not killing nobody, and I'm not duct taping the grandmothers or, you know, so I'm not rapping no, no, no hard, no gangster rap. I might have a couple punch lines in there back and forth, but nothing to that effect, right? Okay. So I said, you know what, I'm 45, and it takes about two, maybe a year and a half to maybe three years for a band to catch fire, right? For, for people to say, are y'all the real deal? Is it this and is that, right? But if I, have a, if I have a brand new single, and it's in rotation on the radio, and now we're shooting that video for it, right? Now you can book the band that you that you hear the music for, okay. versus putting the band out there and I got and I got people at the door like this, like saying what they say, or people on the front line looking at you like this. I want to see if she makes sense with him. If he's saying that she know the words, if the if he congos link with him. When you have the music already in your ear, that's half of the battle. Right. Now that's all we got to do is put on some clothes and deliver. Okay. And that's from the music standpoint, which DJ D Money always covers. But from the LLC standpoint, what is the direction that you're trying to or you're going to, let me rephrase that, take Team 32 outside of the music? Are you going to branch out at all from the music when it comes to Team 32? Or are you going to keep everything tied into the artist 
um, portion of it? Well, we we have a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff that's in the making. But I like to, you know, it's almost like like we playing checkers right now, okay. right? So this move is going to be here. Mm -hmm. This move is here. This move is going to be here. This move is going to be here. And we want to move without being jumped. Okay. Um, right now, we're focused on putting the single out. Right. While we're right, and, and 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 shout out to my team, um, thirty two, Nikki, Sherry, the twins. You know what I'm saying? Um, we 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 understand. They understand my vision, okay. and they see where I'm going. And the good thing is, is that I'm open for um, I'm open for suggestions. I'm not one of those people where I think I know everything. I put these people in place because I know that they have verbal credentials that I love about them. So I'm not one of those bosses that's just going to be like, well, no, did you know, I think it's just you or no, or hell no, you know? <laughs> right. I, now, sometimes I do have to put my foot down and be like, no, look, I did this before. That doesn't work. Right. Or oh, I did this before. This does work. Mm -hmm. But we're never bumping heads or nothing to the effect where we're mad at someone's suggestion or whatever. It's just that everybody has great ideas and it, and it works. I, I would rather have, I would rather have a table full of great ideas, mm -hmm. right? Than, a, than not to be fighting over anything, you know. But to answer your question, yeah, we we doing music. Um, we got the Kings of Main Party Bus coming up August nineteenth. We got that coming up. We got uh, we have um, my birthday that's coming up July second. I don't want to spill the beans, but it sounds <laughs> so. I got a call from uh, Jahar from Team Familiar, and it might look like we might be linking up somewhere for my birthday. Wow. Um, okay. Looks like it's going to be um, July seventh. Um, but of course, uh, the call came in, and the call was very. It was a very strong call. But right now, I understand that they're focusing on D. Floyd's birthday. Right mm -hmm. now. So it's supposed to be like some uh, first time. D. Floyd and 32 back on stage since the trade wins. Like official. Official, yeah. yeah. I seen a little clip of yeah. you, you on stage <laughs> with D. Floyd. Why my clip got me little? Why <laughs> <laughs> my clip got me little? I mean, I don't read dictionaries <laughs> and sources <laughs> like you. you know. Nah, nah, I seen the clip and, and you know, you always dishes on the mic. You always dishes on the mic, but um, we we were talking earlier on the show mm -hmm. about this Kanye uh, yeah. uh, debacle that went down the last three or four days. Okay, and I don't know. I know you keep up with a lot of things. Did you hear the Ye versus the People's track? Did you? Do, do, which answer do you want? Do you want? Do you want the street the street answer, or mm -hmm. would you like the Team Thirty Two answer? What did you hear? The, 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 yeah, I mean, because it's two versions. Oh, okay. I only heard heard the no, one. No, my answer. Oh, your track. Right. Okay, well let's get let's get the street version first. I don't listen to that film. Okay, mm -hmm. let's get the thirty two team thirty two version. It, um, from what I heard, I never heard it. I never heard it. Believe it or not, sometimes, okay. um, sometimes when I get news, when I get uh, Facebook or mm -hmm. social media, um blogs or texts or whatever it comes from my team i don't okay. i don't have time for it it's okay. like you know i don't i don't you know i'm i'm, I'm some i'm i'm somewhere now if there's some positive no i was about to say shit. no you know, you, you, yeah. if there's some positive they will chop it up a little bit then, anyway. yeah i'm all over it right? okay because you you know you know when it's something positive yeah. but you know you listen like on your way to work you're listening to like uh Quick selling them in the mm -hmm. morning or whatever, or whatever your preference is. Like I'm a Donna Simpson show man. That was like my favorite. Like I listened to Donna Simpson on days I was off. I still right. got it. He got up. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> I still listen to Donna, okay. right? But you hit, you can't help but you know you can't. It, it's going to get out. And just the comments of one guy I heard earlier say, Kanye, if your if your um, comments mm -hmm. right about slavery or something mm -hmm. right was to sell your, um, to sell your your music or your shoes, mm -hmm. if it's a right, <clears throat> then I think it's very idiotic. And I think you, and if you are, I think you should give it. If you want to impress me, give it away for free. Wow. 
And I was like, oh, well. Well, then I turned the station. Then, no, I got to my destination. <laughs> we'll, we'll see come June, because it drops in June, so we so, will see. Yeah, I, I was just going to ask you on the, on the, on the artist, with the honest artist thinking, yeah. with him and uh, him and T.I., how they went in the, went in the lab and just freestyle a conversation, mm -hmm. pretty much. Mm -hmm. As an artist, how, how did you take that? I wasn't even thinking about what they were saying. I was thinking about how they were saying it, because me and Shantae uh -huh. were saying, who in the DMV do you think could take a hot, strong topic mm -hmm. and sit down and just go back and forth because they had they showed the video, they had no tablets, no pens, no paper, and TI pretty much was checking yeah. checking uh Kanye mm -hmm. on what he been saying and what he was saying on the record. Right. And it was just like free off the top. Like I put you in it, mm -hmm. I put Kyle in it. I put Stinky Dink in it, yeah. and I put Steve Roy in it, because to me, y'all all, y'all, when y'all perform, I hear a lot of, hear a lot of messages in a lot of y'all lyrics, yeah. a lot of times, not just, and we threw like Caddy Mac in there, we threw a couple of others, but. Yeah, that's my dog right there. He yeah, Caddy, <laughs> So, I mean, that that's what I was asking, like, could you see yourself going into a studio and just take a hot situation and topic and go verbatim one-on-one -on -one with somebody? I, I think I can put myself in, 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 in any phone booth and I'll, I'll come out swinging. Okay. You know, um, I think that just shows versatility. Um, I think it shows versatility as far as um, speaking skills, um, being, able to, uh, being able to interact with folks. Um, being able to actually put your music aside, because there's some artists they can't put their music to the side. You know, there's some comedians that can't put their comedy, their comedy to the side. You know, um, yeah. I mean, I, I definitely, yes. Glow with you. Yes. Okay. That's yes. That was that. So, is there anyone um, here? I know you covered everything here in the DMV, so I won't say DMV. But is there any um, artist that you would want to collab, uh, collab with in regards to coming out with the thing? Is there anyone that you're inspired by? Well, I, you, go ahead, I'm listening. Oh, that you would want to do a collaboration with, whether they're from the DMV, because we have a lot of um, local talent that's really kicking butt right now um, mm -hmm. musically. But then to abroad, is there anyone that you see yourself like, I got to hit the stage with this person? Well, right right now, you know, I mean, I just, I feel like, like to some people, like the respect that I get in the street, like, mm -hmm. you know, um, I feel like Uncle Snoop, yeah. you know, to the game. And, you know, with my 30 years, you know, consistently trying to, trying to put hands in the air, it's very difficult for, to stay relevant for that long. Mm -hmm. I'm talking, and I always stress, um, consistency where like some people may say you know I got 20 years in the game right but you don't count the, you don't deduct the 12 years that you were married and you had two kids uh -huh. right? <laughs> yeah. and, and, and you got out the game now, right. now you're divorced right. and now you bring the keyboard back out yeah. the shed yeah. <laughs> you gotta deduct those years man you know yeah. um, but yeah, I, I I'm I'm gonna tell y'all that I've been talking to uh I've been talking to Kirky about this. Um I'm gonna tell y'all somebody that really need to scratch this surface and I told her it's time for her to graduate. Like like Meek Millie from the oh, Misfits. Definitely. Yeah. It's time for her to turn the corner. Um I love the Misfits. Um I went out and party with them, man. They they spent so much money supporting me. And I and I got misfits hoodies, the <laughs> Levi's with them. It was some it was even some shows where the promoter didn't have my money that night. And I still said, put I, I'm coming back with the misfits mm -hmm. next week. Right? Yeah. Um and shout out to them, man. And, and 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 they the misfits, they made they're like a 2000, well, 15, 16, 17, 18 version of what Northeast Groupers used to be. Northeast Groovers used to have fun mm -hmm. on stage. We used to take 
personal interactions and take them to the stage. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, like Van Damme. That came mm -hmm. from Sean Claude Van Damme when he was kicking the dude and doing the split. And me and Chris were just laughing and joking in the house after the show one night. We scanning mm -hmm. through looking for UFC. Mm -hmm. This is back in the raceway days. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. And and we just scanning and we looking for UFC so we can crack up with some youngest. And we found kickboxing. And that's the part when he was leaning on it and he was doing little dance and he was kicking people and he was drunk. <laughs> so we used to take little, and I still do it by the way. Uh -huh. Like a lot of people don't even know where Yes came from. Cook, 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 right? Yeah. Share this story. I've heard it. Share this story. So, <laughs> I mean, it just be like little stuff like you got to know when you have a hit. Like I'm big on that. So I, it was my RE days, classics days. And I have a pregame. Like basketball players, they warm up. Steph Curry, he shoots from the hallway. Right. You know, everybody has a pregame. I have a pregame. So in my pregame, 90% of the time, I'm listening to Jay-Z while I'm ironing my clothes or whatever. And the CD gets stuck. Stuck. I mean, stuck. The CD <laughs> gets stuck. And the CD kept saying, go and 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 go. And I went straight to the classes and like, yes, come on. White boy's like, what's that part, baby? Why do I do it one more time? What do I do? Yeah, he's from the verses and here comes the, and then I, Reinvented it with with the remix, with doing it with the mix by adding percussion and bongo 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 bongo. You know, just having showing that mm -hmm. side too. So it's just you know that's what the Misfits done. They like you can look at their stage, and you can just actually see them just having a just having a great time. Ain't nobody trying to be sexy. Ain't nobody licking their lips like L L. <laughs> Everybody just cranking and having a good time. Good time. Yeah. You know, and that's. That's what I miss, man. I, I like, I like, I like, I like bands that that perform, that keep you interested, that keep you like, like, like some, like, like some bands you can actually go pee, mm -hmm. and you ain't, you come back, you ain't miss nothing. Ain't miss night there. You can wash your hands, you can answer a couple texts <laughs> in the bathroom, and you come back, and it's the you know, same, same gear, same, same gear. But I see you know, a lot, and it's, it, and it's, it's just you know, I just. With them, man, they just. But Meek Millie, it's time for her to turn the corner because she has, she has what it takes to to turn that corner, and she does both. Mm -hmm. She raps and she sings. Says, yeah. She got swag. She light skin, mm -hmm. and that works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, you know, it's light skin, light skin, light skin. Yeah. <laughs> and streets love her. That's another thing you gotta have because sometimes. You can be that dog on stage, but sometimes when you're not on stage and you don't have no street cred, yeah. it come from gorillas. Because they already don't like us anyway. You know, that's just what I feel. So how do you think, how do you think she should transition? What is the suggestion in order for her to be able to do that, to step out there? Because it's kind of hard to leave, your band becomes your family. Right. So it's kind of hard to separate yourself from that without there being hard feelings or, you know, because that's, it's normally everybody great. Right. Yeah. Right. You know, so that to pull yourself away from that, they're used to that's the face of misfits. Mm -hmm. You know, um, because when I think of misfits, she's the first one to come to mind. It's not Chris or anyone else. It's no, it's me. Right. You know, um, so how do you think that she should be able to successfully transition? You know, as you have. You know, you're independent. You right. know, you stand alone. How will she be able to do that? It would have to be two ways. The first way is that. Now, I, I'm going to answer this question like, like what I do is when I'm throwing a party, when I'm throwing an event, what I do is I take myself out of the equation of being the promoter. Okay. Now I turn myself into a civilian and I ask myself what I come to this, right? I ask myself what I come to this, right? So with that being said, analogy wise, her band has to look at her like, damn. What if R.E. called me? What if Sugar Bear called me? You see what I'm saying? And they have to be open to that. You have to be open to that. The second thing is, is that I think, I think me, I think me, she, um, I think, I think she loves her family so much that she's afraid to get away from them, which I'm not knock, I'm mm -hmm. not knocking that, but it's a business decision. It's a business decision. Now, when we're on the softball field, 
and somebody hit that ball high down third down mm-hmm. third base. Right. Right. Now you put that game on pause. Do you want the crowd to clown you <laughs> because that ball wore your ass out? Right. <laughs> or do you try to get in front of the ball and catch it and shut the crowd up? It's a business decision. That's what we call it. It's a business decision. I think so, again, a good mentor for her to rap to, if she, if if this thought was in her mind right now, would probably be uh, Tiffany. Mm-hmm. Sweet thing for back y'all. Okay. I think she was kind of in that predicament mm-hmm. uh, with new impressions. They were great, musically talented, and she was pretty much at that cap with them, where you know it was time for her to take that leap of faith, and that's what it is. And, and that's uh, and that's what it, it is. Just, it was just like Kirk Cousins situation. Mm-hmm. It was just the perfect timing for her because Lissette was rolling out to do her thing, and they needed somebody. But and that allows you and um, for the person that's getting the break, right? Mm-hmm. Now you get to sit back and watch people snitch on themselves, right? Right. You know now now the people that genuinely now you get to see who genuinely loved you or who was hating on you all alone because th- this that face right here. Right? This face right here. This that face. Y'all see this face right here? That's that face. That's that fake smile. It looks ugly. It looks it looks ungenuine. Look like I'm asking you for change for a 20 and you giving me a fake 20. You know what I'm saying? It looked that that's that face. You get the snitch on yourself. So um, but I will leave this is I do speak. And volumes, and I'm not one of those guys that speak without putting things in place. Gotcha. If this record catches traders, this like I've been like throwing it out there, certain snippets with this, that, and the other. If this record catches the way I think Swag on a Hundred caught the radio, and I had regular rotation for four and a half months, right? Big Bill will be on the wheel. Yeah. So, well, I know our time is is running up. But let me ask you this before we get up out of here. Mm-hmm. Team 32, mm-hmm. are they going to be looking to sign artists under under you all's brand, or is it just nah, we're not you? We're, nah, we're not taking it. No, it's not just me. It's us. Well, uh, well, okay. no, we're not. We're not looking. At, we're not looking. We're look. We're looking to um, definitely expand mm-hmm. um, our, our our positions where we are. Mm-hmm. You know, like. Like the the, the, the the company's address is out of South Carolina. You know, the the my partner is in South Carolina. But she comes here for events. We wanna um we want to um come together and bring and and and, and, and like and like like if a team thirty two event like I didn't even know this beautiful place was here. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you know, it's just it's just that we need to I mean we want to to uh what's the word I want to use? Collaborate um, with that. Vegetable. Well really, really not collaborate. Okay. Really we want to we wanna we want we want thing we wanna stop we wanna take what we already have mm. and snowball it. You know, we wanna we wanna we wanna do more we wanna do more events again that make sense. That makes sense. Yeah. You know, we wanna bring we wanna have a, um we wanna have a party. And then have y'all do a podcast in the corner, yeah. and you be interviewing people as they come off stage or before they hit the stage, you know, uh, red carpet or you know, just 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 something totally different. Sometimes you 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 I know what I want to say, but I I, I want to say it without getting my ideas out because sometimes mm-hmm. when you speak in your interviews yeah. and you speak about what you want to do, they steal your ideas, yeah. Yeah. right? So, um, but D money and say um. Glad that this has happened, and man, to t- put me in the game, coach. Man, I don't worry about that. <laughs> hey, I always give you props on it, man. I give you props all the time. I appreciate you. Definitely. The thing I want to say this too is D Floyd's uh is D Floyd's birthday, and I wanted to uh say this is D Floyd's birthday. Um, D Floyd, D Floyd, he kind of not kind of he made a lot. He made a lot. A lot of sense with with the way he came up, mm. and I was with him as a young, right? And Kenny Buster move 
uh, from Martinis has said that he thinks D. Floyd will destroy me on a set to set. Mm. <laughs> right? Okay. Which he's entitled to his opinion. Okay. And I'm not mad mm -hmm. at that. Mm -hmm. But what I wanted to say was I would never let nobody stir me and D. Floyd up. Daniel's okay. son would never try to outrock Mr. Miyagi. It's bad. You know what I'm saying? So um I just think that that's that's where it is. You know, it, it's almost like the old Kumo D line, become a rapper. Didn't try to rock me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. But I would I I, I, I I people was asking me a lot of, you know, what's your feedback mm -hmm. on that, man? We I, I'm not even and actually shout out to D Floyd because this we have the mutual respect for each other. D Floyd actually called me and asked me. Kitty changed his name to Team Familiar because oh, wow. he knew that I was Team 32. You right? Before okay. and he and I said, I'm looking at the phone and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sir, <laughs> sir, <laughs> sir. No, I'm Deuce, man, no, I'm Deuce, man. I keep telling you, man, it's a it's a respect level. Mm -hmm. I want you to know that I ain't just that you respect mm -hmm. me, I respect you, and I just think it's the right thing to do. And woo -woo. So shout out to him for that, man, and his birthday is coming up. Thanks, and, Right, Team Tour, right? <laughs> and uh, hopefully that we can get that Trey Wins uh, um, thing, that Trey Wins, uh, that well, Trey Wins Remembrance thing going on July 7th for my birthday, and, and we can collaborate, Team Familiar, with uh, uh, a Welcome to the Show set, Unplugged. Okay. Um, That's what's up. And we can, get, we can possibly get that going, but Floyd, man, I would never cross you, and I'm not, I wouldn't even let that. And fans, don't ever think that's going to happen because I'm not going to get on no social media and say and answer that, do this, that, and I'm not going to do it. But Kenny, I respect your decision, though. Girl. You're entitled to do it. That's what's up. That's what's up. Man. We thank you so much for yes, coming to the yes, show and taking time out of your busy day, you know, and coming across town because we are far. So we definitely thank you for coming out. We appreciate it. You know, we definitely look forward to everything that you have your hands on and all your future endeavors. We wish you well on from being be made. And hopefully you'll come back and share whatever you have up and coming. With I want to come back when I want to come back when this record drops. Absolutely. And I want to personally like drop it off. I want to actually mm -hmm. be able to. I'm not even gonna email it to you. I want to be okay. able to come up with a thumb yeah, drive. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then I'm gonna put my feet yeah. back up, and then you just hit play. And I'm just gonna sit right here. You right. heard it here. Okay. So I'm gonna hold you to that. That's Steve what it is, Shout out to Sweet Sherry. I appreciate the whole team for coming out. I appreciate all of the guests that was out here today. This your girl that she was like, signing out, baby. All right. We out. We out. Peace <laughs> Friday night. Lucky Strikes. Go, go night. Come on through. Holler at your boy one time. All right? Then be made. We gone. We gone. Thank you so much. No problem. No Thank problem. Thank you so much. I definitely appreciate yes, it. <laughs> all right. Trey Deuce yeah. this and Trey Deuce that. You be killing that. You know, so, uh, you know so I'll be like, Sykes, when you get on stage, I'll be like, hey, come on, man. you right. about to turn this party up. So. What's up, y'all? Thank y'all for staying tuned in with you. I appreciate you. I love you. This DMV yeah. made the chill side. I'm going to end this live. I'll be back with y'all after party midnight. Hey. I just got to represent myself, man. I hear that. I came from a, uh, another little. Uh, so I'm having little issues with the corporate side of the job situation.